something different today for the video. Um, I'm at Commonwood Fishery in Wrexham. Uh, booked booked onto Llewellyn for a 36 hour session, which is quite a bit longer than I normally do. I usually just do a tea time till morning session, but um, I'm off for the week. So I've, I'm doing a 36, I got here at seven, and I've got till six o'clock tomorrow night to catch me a fish. So yeah, booked on Llewellyn, Llewellyn Pool and I'm on peg four. It's been absolutely red hot and then yesterday the, the um, weather changed and it started raining and there was a, quite a bit of rain yesterday and stuff so hopefully that's played into my hands a bit because um, it's been quite bright this morning but the clouds have just come over and it has gone black. It's, I've just looked on my phone and at 12 o'clock it's going to eave it down so uh, I'm in my shorts at the moment but I'm just going to get my waterproof gear on in an hour because I think it's coming over I'm fishing three rods um, and I'll show you spots in a minute if you've seen my last video I'm using exactly the same rigs um, got to have tubing on and I'm using the helicopter style and you've got to have barber sucks on so I'm basically using the exact same rigs as in my last video apart from the barbless so I'll show you the spots now so at the moment I'm fishing one towards that little island one to the right in that lake bay just past the island and then I've got one down the margin um, like I don't know three two three foot off the bank so that's where I'm fishing at the moment and until I see anything different that's where they're staying I have seen a couple of fish show in the middle but um, they were past halfway so it's not my water so for now that's where I'm fishing everything's covered over at the moment ready for the downpour you can see there I've got my batter all covered up you've got to use the um, landing nets and what do you call them um, cradles etc you can't use your own can't bring them onto site so yeah that's, that's where we are at the moment it's like about quarter past half past ten and it's gone pretty black so in about an hour hour and a half it's gonna bucket it down I think I'm gonna make a quick brew have a quite a little bite to eat and then I'm going to get my waterproof on before it hammers it down. So at least I'm prepared. Catch up with you in a bit if anything happens. That rain I was on about a little bit early, half past eleven, but it's coming down. It's just started now. Watch this, I'll get a run now. Well, no sooner had I zipped my bivvy up, it's bloody stopped and the sun's out. It lasted a whole five minutes. Wow. Anyway, it's gone nice now. Again a couple of liners, but again I'm on all my rods so it tells me there's something in front of my rod tip. So I've seen a, I have seen the back of a couple of fish come out where I'm fishing, so there is there is fish down there. I was hoping that rain was gonna come down then for an hour and stir things up a bit, but never mind. Well, they weren't wrong. Jesus. Amongst all that rain, I got a run and a rod screened off and I lost it at the net. 
can't stand barbless hooks. Absolutely can't stand them. Middle rod, rod went from the far margin, and then it's pulled to the left. Tried, tried get me around the back of that island. Couldn't get around there, so it kited to the right. Tried to do me behind that. See that bush sticking out there? Took me behind there. Managed to get it out of there. Not too much hassle, really. And then I literally lost it about 15 foot out in front of me. Couldn't believe it. Didn't go slack or anything, just freaking come off. It's just gone four o'clock. And after losing that that common earlier, I reckon that one was about, from what I've seen of it, about 15 pounds, a mid-double anyway, by the looks of it. From what I've seen, well, probably twice the size of this one anyway, maybe more. I think I must have caught the smallest one in the lakes in the lake. <laughs> Going bonkers. Alright, calm down. Tiny and I mean small. <laughs> Tiny little common. But yeah, it must be about four pounds if that come off my margin rod. I've just put my rod back out, but yeah, this little, little tiny, tiny common. But it beats a blank at the moment anyway. So, rod's back out and hopefully it'll do me another fish. I was losing all confidence then, I was, I was just wrapping out my, um, my spod rod to find another spot and it ripped off, so anyway. So I'll carry on with that in a minute. There we go, first first blood. <laughs> Not exactly the biggest, but it's a start. I've got I've got another 24 hours to go, -ish, so anything can happen, can I? Right, let's get it back and hopefully get something a bit bigger. Well, I'm on my own now. It's five o'clock, and all the day anglers have gone home. I think they've uh, made a dash for it in the break in the weather but they have to be off for six anyway and then the night anglers can come on at seven so in a couple of hours there'll be at least another two on or something I should imagine but for now the next hour or so I've got the lake to myself just gone half past six the night shift will be here soon, in half an hour, the next lot of people. Um, little break in the in the rain and my rod's gone. And being unlucky with the size of fish in here, there is 30s in here. And I had a few 20s, but that seems to be getting all the singles. But when it calms down. Come on. Just another little common again. Well, it was about five pounds, something like that, I don't know, five, six, six pound. But yeah, been a bit unlucky with the sizes, but one of them I do. I'm going to move one of my rods. I'm going to put two on the island, I've got one in the margins, and then maybe later, if the island doesn't do it, I've just found an open water spot which I might use. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I might, um, I might stick one in open water if nothing else happens now. But anyway, nice little fish. And just waiting for one of the bigger ones. So, let's see if we can get another. Coming up to nine o'clock now, and absolutely nothing's happened since them two fish. And that had a not had a line or anything so I'm just having a a nice brew to be fair I've just for the last hour I've been laying on my bed trying to get a bit of sleep because I was here I was up at quarter to five this morning couldn't sleep last night before I come I think I ended up about three hours sleep or something so I was getting headaches before I was that tired so because it was quiet um, no one's turned up for a night session uh, gates are closed now so there'll be no one here tonight be seven o'clock in the morning before anyone comes on 
Uh, so I lay on my bed and, and I think I fell asleep for 15 minutes or something like that. So I'm just having this brew. I've just um, put a bit of bait on one of my rods and then I'm going to um, go back to bed just in case I get a couple of runs at night because I'm knackered. So I'm not, um, so yeah, just going to get my head down basically. Still a bit, still feel a bit dozy to be honest from me, um, my little snooze then. I only woke up five minutes ago. So yeah, I'll have this brew, get my head down and if I see you later tonight it's because I've got a fish. Otherwise, catch you in the morning. Morning, morning, morning. Oh, I feel a bit more refreshed. That's because I've caught bugger all last night. Uh, absolutely dead. Just went absolutely dead. I don't know why, but it did. So, um, I've got up. I made a decision last night before I went to bed. If I, if I wake up whatever time and nothing's happened to the rods, I'm moving one into open water. So I found a spot yesterday and, um, like I said, I just moved into open water, stuck a bit of bait on it. Uh, and let's see, let's see if it'll produce. I'll we'll try it for next time because I'm coming back. So I may as well try a couple of di different things out while I'm here. And I'll just keep my eye on what everyone else does. But from what I've seen, they're not doing that much different. So anyway, the the onslaught now will be seven seven o'clock. It's about an hour, and then the, the rest, the new lot will turn up for the day session. So uh, I'll keep my eye on and see what they do, see how good they do. I know one of the day anglers had a couple out yesterday um, before I'd even caught. So don't even do something wrong, or the fish are just in a different area. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens later. Half past seven, and my island rod's gone again. And another little, another little common. Bloody hell, can't believe how small these are. For what's in here, I'm having the smallest fish ever. Never mind. There's a little one again, probably the same fish. Need something with a bit more um, pull behind it. Give me a good scrap. I'll tell you what though, you have to be careful, careful on these barbless hooks. I'm just I'm trying to bully them a little bit more to keep the tension on. And so far it's worked. There we are. Lovely. Well, in good condition, like very good condition. Barbless hooks. Barbless hooks come out well when you hook them. I can see why they use them. But they just come out a bit too well sometimes, don't they? But yeah, anyway, we get it back. Rod's back out on the spot. I've got one in open water now, but if that island starts producing, I'm going to move it back onto the island. But at the moment, it's staying where it is. This might just be a lucky fish. So, right. Let's get it back. I've got a. Um, I've got till about five or six o'clock tonight, so there's a chance of another, but we'll see. We'll see. They had nothing for 12 hours through the night. That rod's been out there since, what, six o'clock last night, and it took, it took 13 hours to go. So, we'll see. We'll see if we get another anyway. Just a quick midday update. Well, there's nothing much to update really since like half seven this morning. When he had that fish, absolutely nothing has happened apart from a couple of little liners, and that's it. There's definitely fish where I'm fishing, but they're just not interested. Uh, I don't know whether it's, it's gone warm again and sunny. I don't. I just don't think they're, they're eating. Uh, there's what four of us on the lake, and I've not seen anyone have a fish since they arrived. So I'm not the only one. I've been checking what other people are doing, and they're pretty much doing what I'm doing, fishing a rod length off uh, margins and, and I've noticed nearly every but like 70-75% of people have got bait boats so I'm thinking next time I come I wonder if they I wonder if they're, wonder if they're spooking off little patches of bait because everyone's on bait boats 
So next time we'll come I might just put a tiny bit of feed in the bait bowl so there's about five boilies next to me. Me hook bait and then catapult a load out into a big like two meter square area or three meter square area, just dot them around a bit. I wonder if I don't have to get a little bit suspicious suspicious of patches of bait. Who knows? First time here in it. I don't think they're um, picky on bait because I've got three different baits with me and I've caught on each one so I don't think it's a bait issue they're either just not hungry because the weather or I think a bit right places I just don't know I was going to put a zig on for the rest of the day but I've realised I've left all my zig stuff at home it's the first time I've took it out of my bloody bag because I thought I saw the low pressure coming in I thought I won't need that I'll make some room and I took all my zig stuff out so I've got no zig stuff so I can't do that so that's something when I come back I'm going to try a zig on one um, try a different area because at the moment I'm only fishing in two foot of water but I'd still I'd still put a, a two foot zig on and try and get one off the top well just under the surface you're not allowed to fish off the top so I'd have to make sure it's a few inches under but yeah I don't know what to do I think I'm in the right spot Got a decent bait on, rigs are working, none have come in tangled or anything. So I have been I have been fishing whilst whilst the being here, like I've not had any rods out of action all tangled up, so don't know what the answer is yet. I've even tried a bit of sweet corn next to the boilies just to try and get something in, but no, nothing. Anyway, there's forecast rain at three o'clock, so my guessing is that's when I'm gonna get a run, if any. Because all my runs seem to have gone by either just after rain or while it's raining. Um, yeah, I think I've had one run when it's just come light this morning, but the rest I've been in the rain or just literally a minute after it stopped raining. So I think that's the key at the moment is the rain. So I'm guessing three o'clock is if I'm going to get another run if I get one. into my last two hours of fishing now don't know what I'm doing wrong today but I only had that one fish this morning and I'm and probably I'm in one of the best swims one and four of the best swims and I've just done garbage really don't know don't know what's going on three fish and lost one it's not good I should have had double that at least well anyway don't know don't know what I'm doing wrong don't know what I'm... um anyway got two hours finished made a brew and then I'm gonna pack up on a slow pack up so hope well I'm still open still open for the fish and got two hours left so there's still a chance but the way it's gone this session um, I'm not really expecting anything been a bit of a letdown to be honest but there it is that's fishing in it I went I went my last session on my little local water I expected nothing he ended up with late record so you can't and I only went there for something to do and just for a little relax and he had a good session so you never know do you that's the good thing about fishing and it? it's just one of them you can drop on or you can do crap and today I've not done the best but anyway if I pull a 20 out I'll be happy <laughs> but what's the chances but anyway just got to pat down now and then see if anything happens oh yeah and a quick bite to eat as well before I pack up Get in. 15 minutes, 15 minutes before pack up. It's like 20 to 6 now. I was just about to think about re reeling my rods in, and my left hand rod has gone. And this time, it's not a single figure carp. Been beating myself up all day, thinking, What am I doing wrong? Blah blah blah. Going through it in my mind. I couldn't do any more. Chopped and changed, tried a few little different um, baits and stuff just don't know what was going on anyway 15 minutes before the packing up time 
and I've just got a scrape of 20. Oh yes, made up. It's made it worthwhile now. Uh, 20 pound 14 common. Look at this, nice. Look at that, made up. Made up right on last minute. Last last knocking, two rods are still in. But oh, how good's that? It feels good to get this one. I knew it was a bigger fish soon. As soon as I was playing it in the margins, I thought, this is a decent one, this. Um, it wasn't rip-rolling around like smaller fish, it was just plodding. And I was, I was shaking, I was shaking playing that then, because on Barber sucks. Scared to bloody death, but, yeah. Cracker. Absolute cracker. Can't believe how made up I am. Oh. Still shaking a bit now. What a way to end the blog. I'm all packed up. I've literally just got to wind the rods in and I'm off. I'm just going to ring the um, shop up, see if he wants to come and um, check on the fish. He said any 20s, ring up. And I th halfway through the session I thought, oh yeah, you must be joking. Struggling to get double figures, but there you go. Shows you fish to the very death and there's a chance of getting something better. Buzzing. Right, end of the vlog, I'll get this back and go home. Happy days. Don't believe it, I've not even let the 20 pounder go and I've got a 17 and a half in the net, eight minutes to go. I've sat here for 36 hours and had three doubles and lost one and now I've just had a 20 and a 17 and a half in less than eight minutes, less than 10 minutes. How bloody believe it. So I've just had to rob the um, tension, the waistling from the next peg because I've only got one. So buzzing, let's have a look at it. I've got about five minutes to pack up and get off here. Well, I've got an hour early because the next one's in only at seven, but you've got to be off at six, I think. But anyway, absolutely buzzing. I just, I just can't believe it. Anyway, there we are. let's go and have a quick look. Right, this really is the end of the blog. I think somebody's coming on, so I'm going to have to be quick. There we are. Come on. Seventeen and a half pound. Banging. Somebody's coming on, so I'm going to be quick because I feel a bit of an idiot talking to the camera. So there's one side. Buzzing. Right, this is the end of the vlog.